HVAC professionals, can you please give me some insight as to why a capacitor... Do you want to know why it costs $400 to change a capacitor? I'm an HVAC contractor, and I got the price breakdown of what your money actually buys. If you'll watch the video all the way to the end, I'll also give you tips and tricks on how to get the best price from HVAC contractors. So number one, for $85 an hour, you get one tech, an old van, some insurance, some parts, a modest building with utilities in a rural area. This is a metropolitan area, double it, at least. Now, for $120 an hour, you get to add a helper. The benefit of that is you get on-the-job training and you can get the jobs done quicker. You don't know what you're going to face as a technician, so having an extra set of hands is always two thumbs up. $150 an hour. Well, now, you, you, now you're talking some money. You can actually get you a decent quality van, and uh, either way, you're going to have to pay a lot of money for those vans, by the way. An old van, you have to replace engines, transmissions, all kind of crazy stuff. You get downtime, the technician can't work, and uh, it's hard to keep a good technician if he can't work. $200 an hour, you can actually get health care. That may seem like a lot, but this isn't Walmart, Chevron. This isn't uh, Amazon. We don't get those huge group discounts that y'all get, and it costs us a fortune for that health care. But the trade-off is we get better quality employees, and... Uh, yeah, that's that's always an amazing thing. All right, so you might have all these people in the same area. Now, keep in mind, if this is a metropolitan area, this could easily be double. And the reason is because you have lax government regulation. That's right. See, this guy right here is probably uh, has his license, has his insurance, uh, following all the rules, paying all his taxes, and this guy may not be. Um, now, you might still think that's a lot. Well, the hours work versus hours paid. A guy may work five hours a day, but he's paid for eight. And the reason why is because he's got to go to the supply house. He's got to drive to different jobs. He still had to be paid for that. Um, we didn't even talk about 401k and some of the other things like, is he in a union or whatnot? That type of thing factors in. I said, if you watch to the end, I give you the tips and tricks on how to get the best deal from an air conditioning company. The number one best tip I'd recommend is tip the technician as soon as he comes to the door. Now that may seem counterintuitive, but I guarantee you, you give that man some extra money when he comes to the door, the worker, not the company, the worker that comes to that door, you're going to get the best service available. If you had some work done on the unit before that company showed up, let that company know. So that way it, it helps solve the problem quicker, which actually saves money and puts it back into your pocket. Don't try to hide that information. Let them know. If your HVAC unit is in a closet, or if your HVAC unit is in the attic, clear a passage to that equipment. It's gonna cost a lot of money per hour to move boxes in your attic to get to that unit if you can't get to it. Go ahead and move it out of the way because it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you to move it than to have the technician move it. 